All right, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, since we covered just simple 12 volt testing of the ignition circuit, we're gonna switch this bad boy over to ohms. And now what this is gonna do is this will show you continuity or resistance on a circuit. So right now it's reading one, which means it's infinite resistance, which means there's no connection at all. So what we can do is if you see, I'll touch the two probes together and now the multimeter reads zero and zero is zero ohms which would be full continuity with no resistance so what we'll go ahead and do is these LS coils have two grounds in them so right now we're just gonna probe the ground pin and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna touch the ground on the engine so see how it went to zero. Now that's telling us that that coil is grounded to the engine block, which is a good sign because that's what's supposed to be happening. So we can also go ahead and I'll show you a quick test on something that's gonna show resistance, just so you can get an idea of what's gonna happen here. So I'm gonna set it to 200K here, and we're gonna test a 120 ohm resistor that I installed on the CAN network of this vehicle. Now this is part of the Bluetooth adapter that we got from our buddies over at ECU Master. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to probe here. And we should get, oh let's see here. Oh, I'm not getting, we're not getting connectivity here. Hang on. So right now we've got about 120 ohms, which is good. That's what we use for the resistors in our CAN network. So that shows us that that resistor is installed properly. And then we'll go over one more feature on the multimeter really quick. And it's another continuity test. And what it is, is most multimeters have a function, which you'll see here. And this is just a ring function. This is gonna tell you that you have full continuity. So it's the same thing that we were looking for with the zeros, except this is gonna emit a beeping noise when we do it. So just a quick test. We'll test to see that the engine block is grounded to the chassis. So I'm just gonna hook this to the engine block here. And now you see how it goes to zero and it beeps. That just shows you that you're definitely connected and probably that there's very little resistance there so these are just some simple functions I mean there's a couple other ones obviously you have uh, AC voltage which is not really gonna be too useful using or diagnosing anything on a vehicle and there's other ones like this one happens to have a K type thermocouple where you can use it for a temperature probe that plugs in here uh, we can go over some other functions of the multimeter at a different day